Why, hello, and thank you for tuning in to Medicating with Sound. We're doing something a little different today. I'm filming on two cameras. <clears throat> I'm filming on the, the uh, GoPro, and I'm filming on my standard webcam, and I might upload both these videos so you guys can check out both videos and see which one you like better, because if you guys like it better on the GoPro, uh, I will do the videos on the GoPro. I'm taking off the autofocus there. Okay, so that's the explanation of what's going on. So, as you guys know, last video, um, I unboxed a hi -Sci hexagonal beaker. And um, I've been working with it this week, but I just cleaned it up. And I wanted to kind of show you guys some stuff about this hexagonal beaker. Uh, this is what came with it. Bam, right? So this bowl right here, it's got a hole in it. And then it's got, oh, look, you can see right there the hole. It's got like five, five holes on the sides and then one hole in the bottom. So it's kind of like a screened bowl. So it doesn't really snap. So this bong comes with this down stem. And you see how, here, I'll uh, put the focus back on. You see how, uh, you see how it's got this, it's kind of a cool end, you know what I mean? See there, it's got there, and then it's got a hole in the end. But it clogs up. But it's really good for this kind of bowl because it's not a snapper bowl. So it doesn't really clog too much. But I put a snapper bowl on it, it starts clogging up. So it's, this bowl is good for this down stem, you know what I'm saying? Because it leaves pieces in there. Oh, for all the people on the on the GoPro. So what I did is I went ahead and got just your standard, uh, a standard. I retrofitted the uh, the uh, high side with just a standard uh, down stem, and this is 18 millimeter. And bam, and then. I always get that the wrong way, do I? I'm always scared I'm going to break something when I put tech clips on. Okay, there we go. Ha, ha, ha. So now... Whoa, there's no restriction on this at all. I'm really liking it with this. I haven't even smoked out of it yet. Just from, from test hitting, I've tried it. And then I got the 11 arm Cheech Black... Uh, 11 arm. Oh, oh, let me do this before we go any further. Put a little multi bomb here because uh, uh, this is one of the joints that you definitely want to keep nice and lubricated because I don't know, they just seem to clog on me a lot or get stuck on me a lot, you know? So we'll do that. We'll do that. And then just, um, I'm going to, whoa, I'm just going to use a standard, just a standard bowl. This is actually one of my, my favorites, one of my, one of my, favorite bowls. It's got a nice big hole in it in the bottom so I get good snaps. So, there we go. Bam! This is what we'll be smoking with this week. And see how well this handles the freaking blizzard snowstorm that's happening up in here. Okay, let me get this so you can see this freaking snowstorm. Oh, snowstorm. Bam. What's up? What's up? That's for the GoPro. What's going on with the snowstorm? It's like a blizzard over there sound. It's it's like the abominable snowman just crapped the little green nugs on my dish. <laughs> Now, there's one of the cool things about, <laughs> why did I talk so high there for a second? One of the cool things about the GoPro is that I can do things like when I smoke, like you guys can watch me there, but I can take the GoPro and put it like down here. <laughs> I don't know if that's going to be a cool shot or not. We'll see, won't we? Cheers! Oh. 
Oh yeah, that is so much better like that, guys. I didn't get anything off that last hit. <coughs> Guess it was gone. <coughs> so, whoa! Very nice! I'm liking the <coughs> high side with the... You know, now, I'm still... The actual bong itself, the, the way it was built, I'm not really too happy with. It was a little thin. Uh, but the hit on it's pretty good. I'm enjoying the usability of it. How about that? So, as the title would suggest, today we are doing a mailbag video. <coughs> so, without any further ado, from New <laughs> Nobody Knows. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. And I don't know from where, because it got all warbly. It got all warbly. Okay. Okay. My name is... I am 18. I would like a free uh, sample of Bilasso. And a signed statement... And, well, technically it's not signed there, uh, uh, New York, West Isler, West Isler, New York. It's not technically signed, but I think we could probably let it pass, but I, I do like them signed, because that's like a contract, you know? It's now signed. We're, t we're, we're in cahoots together now. Uh, Okay, another mystery package. Well, envelope comes to us from not here. Okay, okay, and inside the envelope is a letter. The letter should say, Hello, hello, yes, I'm 18, and a signature. Very nice. And I will be sending it out to you immediately. I don't think we're doing this right. We're missing something. Bam! I think that's what we're missing. We're missing another bong hit. Because this just isn't happening. For me. Is it happening for you? That's a big bong hit there, Mr. Sound Drone. Oh, what shall we do about it? Oh, I don't know. Smoke it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Smoke it. Oh, how I love smoking bong rippers. They, they're a very joyous event in my life. Snap that one, jeez. This is getting kind of smooth. Look at that. Barely even a <coughs> courtesy cough. <coughs> <coughs> Barely even a courtesy cough. <coughs> okay. All right. <coughs> now, now things are looking good. <coughs> oh, much better in my head, face, head, brain. 
Medication. Successfully administered. <coughs> okay. <laughs> what are we doing now? <coughs> It's a good thing I got this pile of mail in front of me or else I'd had no clue. What are we doing? Oh, smoking rippers talking smack. Okay, from Sacramento, right down the street comes this. And I wonder what this should be inside of this parcel. Yet another one. Thank you very much. I would have preferred an actual signature, Sacramento, but this should suffice. And yes, I will get one out to you immediately. Eh? Oh, oh. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. I was just. I was thinking this one comes from Canada. I hope not. I hope this one didn't come from Canada. Or are they just commemorating Canada? <laughs> Go. <laughs> I should bring this outside and let Merlin eat it. Oh no! It is from Canada. Wow, Canada has some cool ass stamps. Um, look at this, dude. Oh, there's there's a hologram on this stamp. Look, see, haunted Canada. Look at that. Whoa, we don't have no pimpin' hologram stamps, but Canada. I gotta put this in an American post box, and they're not gonna take American or Canadian postage. Oh, oh man, what do I do? So a pretty nice collection though. We got a goat and a Canadian hologram, haunted hologram from Canada. What should I do with these? Should I save them, or what should I do? I don't know. It's hard to. Okay, this one comes to us from Earwig, New Jersey. Oh look, it's Earwig, New Jersey. <laughs> it's not Earwig, New Jersey. It's E-Wing. 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 Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, so yeah, I'm over 18, and uh, I'd like a uh, sample of Bilal, so. So, yeah, that's cool. I think, I think we could handle that. Especially since you went and sent an envelope requesting it. I mean, I think we probably could handle that for you. Uh, let's see, Meridian, Indiana. So we got the fireworks, right? We got the fire twerks. But then who's that? Is that Santa? That is hat. Who is that? Look at that. Some bearded dude. I kill you! Is that who it is? I don't know. I hope it's not. Okay. Alright. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. Fire twerks. I was good. I, I opened it and see how it's folded. I was like, uh oh, it doesn't have a stamp. And then I went, oh yeah, it does. Let's see here. Oh uh, yes, yes, but yes, uh, most certainly, most certainly. So what we're doing here, if you guys don't know, I'm opening up. The email, uh, the email. See, I'm so accustomed to saying email because who uses mail anymore? I'm opening up the uh, customer requests for Bilasso. Bilasso is an all organic hemp wick that you use as an alternative to a lighter. 
Now, of course, you need to use a lighter to light it, but this is a chemical flame. B-Lasso is an organic flame. <laughs> I think I got a little medicated on that last rip. You know what we should do about it? Take another rip! You stop it with the autofocus! I'm not talking to you, uh, uh, GoPro. We were having issues on the other, the other video. So you know, GoPro won't have those issues. Oh, I keep forgetting to show the GoPro the stamps. I'm sorry. GoPro viewers. Alright. Furwood. Oh, look. And there is a little... Uh, it's a little... This is what they wrote it on. Mm, at least 18 years old. I'm surprised... You write it on a cocktail napkin. I guess I don't really care. <laughs> Watch, someone's going to do that. Okay, this one comes to us from, whoa, Corpus Christi. And look, dude, there's, I think it was Santa. They, this must be a part of a series. Because look, there's the Keebler elf. Right? I don't know. Corpus Christi. That always just sounds so, so... Important. Oh, yeah? Where you come from, bro? Uh, dude, I'm from Santa Monica. Where are you from? I'm from Corpus Christi. Whoa! What's your rank? I don't know. Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah ha! Like. Like. And look, he's got a, a J and a lighter. Ha! <laughs> That's cool. And then. Cheech and Chong. Well, no, it took us. I just wonder. So it was saying male. I was wondering what the connection was between Cheech and Chong and male. And I wasn't. And then it's on a priority mail. I'm not sure what the connection is. Is it a sticker? Okay. Okay. Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi is just sounds so important. Hello, Sound Drone. My name is. That was me self editing. So I don't have to do it afterwards. And I am at least 18 years old. I am 26 to be exact. And I'm always checking out your video uploads on the daily here at my work. I work for a hotel here and get pretty bored. Being by myself at the front desk all day, watching your vids, plus others keeps my day rolling by. Thanks for everything you do and have done to inspire me. P.S. I would like a sample of your famous b lasso. Famous! I didn't even know! It is famous? It's like... Well, it is international. And some pretty big YouTubers regularly use the stuff. And, uh, Cheech, uh, uh, not, um, uh, Chong, Tommy Chong, when they were in town, uh, I went to go see them in concert, and I brought, like, six boulders of b -Lasso, and I had this hot chick walk up to the stage and everybody stopped he stopped everything while in the middle of his routine he looked down and he went oh hello and all, the whole audience went because of this hot chick and he set she set down like six boulders right there on the stage and right before he left he bent over and grabbed them all so i knew uh either he uses it or he passed it off to his friends or he threw it in the trash I couldn't imagine he'd pick it up, though, if he didn't know what it was and used it. So, he at least knows what's up. He at least used it, which is pretty cool. Okay, moving on from Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi. <laughs> Thank you, by the way, Corpus Christi. Um, this person. From Brantley. Oh! From Brentley, Brantley, Alabama, I think. Yeah, and the reason why that happened is because you taped it so hard that I couldn't open it. 
I had to open it from the bottom, and because I opened it from the bottom, it all fell out. See what happened? See what you made me do? Yeah. Okay. And you taped it so hard that it stuck to stuff on the inside too. So you never get this feedback when you when you open a letter. I, it's another service I'm doing. Another service. I don't know what camera to look at. Whoa, letter. Excellent. And yes. Brantley. Brantley. Dear Mr. Floyd Soundrone. My name is... See? See what I did there? Um, I would like to thank you for making the video. My husband uh, uh, tries never to miss any. Um, I'm omitting names and such and personal data. He says they give him great ideas. He keeps telling me that he wants some of the bee lasso. So for his birthday, um, I thought I would send for some. If you do not mind, I would be very happy and tell him thank you. He really loves watching. We live in... Uh, uh, he watches every day and hopes uh, with every person that see... Um, okay, okay, I didn't want to read any of the last on air. Thank you very much. Very cool letter. And yes, most certainly. I can get some out to you immediately. Thank you, very cool. Blood stain. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, what's this? Oh. Get paid for getting your flu shot. I, 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 that, that's, I don't know why that's in here. Okay, hey. Carol Stream, Illinois, and Bugs Life. I think that's Bugs Life, isn't it? But, cool. All right. That kind of, kind of little medicated in the two rippers. All right. Ooh. And then look at the, uh, Whoa, look at the return stamp. <laughs> That's uh, The Incredibles, I think. Yeah. All right, let's get this open. Whoa. Okay, there it goes over here. And I'm at least 18. I would like a free sample of Bilasso. And a lot of people are including their cell numbers. I say, you don't have to include your cell number. But um, I was thinking about doing something one day with them. So uh, I was just kind of making sure I have some if I need them, you know. So uh, this one comes to us from Gilbert, Arizona. Bam. And uh, it's the forever forever flag and it's thick it's got a little chunk of chunk in there all right all right dual stamps very good hello my name is I'm at least 18 years old I'm also a sticker collector really I might I might be able to add to your collection I might be able to do something about that. Okay. So, coming to us from Keeler, Texas. Keeler, Texas. Oh, another Keebler. Oh, dude, there's a lot of Keeblers coming out of Texas. I'm telling you. From Keebler, Texas. Okay, and then a Liberty for the return, Keebler. All right, Keebler, Texas. Mm. 
Dear Soundrone, I was wondering if I could get a free sample of your there hair be lasso. I am 18 years old. I would be pleasure. It would be, excuse me, it would be a pleasure to send you some lasso of the bee provisions. Coming to, ooh, open on mail bag, please. One love. Be lasso. Coming to us from, I think, Pennsylvania? Yeah, PA. That, yeah, that's P Pennsylvania. And so is Harrisburg. They're both in Pennsylvania. Oh, boom. You see that? You see that? How ironical that you should put that symbol on your, your, uh, oh, look, right? Ironical that you should put this on your letter and I should wear this shirt. Oh my god. And, uh, Mario. I think he drew Mario. Or, isn't that what that is? <laughs> oh, there my name is. I love your videos, bro. Uh, you are the funniest person I've ever seen. Whoa. Whoa. That's quite a, that's quite a, a quote there. I am also a fellow medicator, even though it isn't completely legal here. You are an awesome dude and have inspired me a lot. I am learning to become a glass blower. Oh, how cool is that? Good luck to you on that. Uh, anyways, I hope to get this. I hope you get this. P.S. I'm 18. I'd like some bilasso samples. Sorry for the sloppy writing. I have carpal tunnel. How are you gonna be a glass blower and have carpal tunnel? That's just carpal tunnel. Have it carpal tunnel. Tarpal tunnel. Tunnel. Tarpal tunnel. Heaven. Dude, because you know what glass blowers do? This. Oh my god, that would drive me nuts after a couple few days. Um, but I would like the artfulness of it, but I don't know if I could ever be the patience for that kind of stuff. Alright, mm, this one, a complete mystery. We have no idea. Nothing. Just, as soon as we open it, then we start, to, the mystery starts to... Un unveil it, unveil itself to us. Oyster, okay. Hello, my name is. I am at least eighteen. I would like free sample of tobacco consumption only. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't need to rip it. It's for tobacco consumption only. I You can use it for whatever you'd like to use it for. If you would like to use it to ignite your uh, those glass candles that are really long, you can't get down there with a match, b is incredibly good for lighting those. Uh, you know what else it's good for? Barbecue. You snip off, you know, a piece like that big, you light it, and you set it on the barbecue, and you close the lid, and then you turn on the gas, and then you run away. And then you just wait, and wait, and wait, and then poof, that's how I like my barbecue. I used to be lasso. All right, Pennsylvania. I think we're getting a lot from Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania is getting pretty uh, proactive on the green scene, I think, man. My name is, I'm 18. I would like a resemble of me lasso. I think that could be arranged. Yes. No problem. No problem. Uh, 
this one comes to... Wait a minute. Return to sender insufficient address unable to forward. <gasps> oh. Well, apparently, if you recognize this one, this one went out and came back because they couldn't recognize your writing, I think. So I got it back. So you, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, you may want to resend, but write neatly so the post office can read chicken scratches. Oh, what do I do with this? Okay. Moving on, chicken scratch from, I don't even know from where. I was going to say Reading, but that's where you mailed it to. Okay, now we got fireworks, fire twerks, and the light switch. The lights, I don't understand the light switch thing. I don't. Because if it's upside down, <laughs> it could be telling you, hey, turn on your light switch. Or when it's right side up, it could be going, look, I have, I can make my fingers into a circle. Is that what they're saying? That's kind of the impression I'm getting. Look, I can make my my hand into a circle. I think that's what they're, they're getting at. They might be saying something else. Uh, oh, you know what? I know what it is. They're saying, make sure to dust right there on your light switches. That's probably what they're saying. It's probably what they're saying. I'm just saying, that's what they're saying. Wait, I... You put the envelope, exactly the same envelope inside an envelope, so it was a little difficult to get it out, so I'm destroying it to get it out. That was kind of hard for you to get that in there, wasn't it? Okay, so I had to destroy that envelope to get this one out. So it's addressed back to you, and then the letter is inside the letter, or the letter is inside the envelope. Hello, my name is... Yes, 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 yes. Would love to be on the show. I need to do something, guys. I need to do something with these phone numbers. I'm getting a lot of phone numbers. So I'm going to develop something here. Surprise call from Sound Dome. You're on the air. <laughs> okay. I can't believe this. This must be like a series or something. Because... Now we have man eating the pit bulls. So we've got uh the pit bulls and then we have um Taliban and what was the other one? Keebler. So what does Keebler, Taliban, and Pit Bulls all have in common? Polo shirts. They all have that in common. What does this mean? We're just unraveling stuff, aren't we? That's just too much for me. I gotta move on. This is the last one. Oh, that scared me. I thought there was no... I thought there was no response letter. We did good this time. Mm, yes, yes. Thanks. Yes, I can get that to you immediately. Now, I know you had no control over the pit bull on 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 yours. So I will get these packaged up today. And oh my gosh, I am pretty pretty medicated. So I'm just gonna take a little baby ripper, but I just want to close out with a rip uh, with a ripper. Um, I still want a baby ripper. There's a baby ripper right there. All right, all right. So.
So uh, let me know if you like the uh, GoPro or if you like the uh, webcam. And then also let me know, do you like the angle on the GoPro when we went, when we went down and got the close-up shot? Uh, and if you uh, mailed some stuff in the mail and it wasn't shown today, it'll be shown next time. So, cheers. Thank you, everybody, that went to the Boro Warehouse over the holidays. <coughs> and B-Lasso, we had a record-breaking year. <coughs> um, the promotion for the buy the fatty, get the dispenser for free is running through till the new year because of popular demand. Um, and what else do I got? Thank you, really, guys, everybody, for going to the Boro Warehouse. Blowing it up. Uh, it's a huge, huge... Uh, opening and huge Christmas too. I, I we had tons of orders on Christmas, which was weird. Uh uh I think that's all I got. Thank you for sending me mail and look out! <laughs>